blue lake. It's a bit cloudy today, but it's still blue. Um, and if you do have your van attached, there is um, a bit of a rough road, like track, but enough room with a turning circle at the end as well. So don't, don't feel like you can't come if you've got your van attached. That's the road. Yeah, anyway, not the best weather to see it apparently, but it's still pretty blue. Our caravan, we just parked it behind us at Bay of Fires, cozy corner north, and we got the spot right in the corner. And look on the other side at our view, and a tree for Ari to climb. Alright, unintentional sunset photographing in Dinalong Bay after dinner um, in St Helens. We had went to the social. It was really good. A really quirky place. Um, really lovely owners and I uh, highly recommend it. Had gluten-free arancini balls and had a pork burrito um, and some sweet potato chips. It was delicious. Anyway, we're at sunsetting. Uh, nice. Camera? Yeah. Guess I'm going back to the camera.
from but if it's busy like it is here now um, a lot of them are a fair bit from the beach um, we can pretty much open our door and walk out to the beach um, and we have water views from the bed uh, which is awesome it's a free camp it's dog friendly there are pit drop toilets um, and that's it nothing else um, so take your rubbish bring your water that kind of thing um, that's so beautiful Corner North Camp and I off on a day trip adventure today. We have a few things on our list but we're not sure how much we'll get done because sometimes photography takes a little longer for, to perfect what we need. Uh, so we're heading towards Falls Falls as our first stop and then we'll see how we go from there.
was an interesting adventure. <laughs> really cool place. Cheese was really tasty, but they didn't have any to buy. They're out of it at the moment. It's sold out at the moment. It's meant Dairy to be back is in out tomorrow. of cheese. And it was really nice cheddar, and not many places have cheddar, and uh, disappointing. <laughs> but we were actually going to get some cheese and have that for lunch, but now we're off to the pub. Instead. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to pub for lunch and cheese for dinner. Yeah. Well, we're doing cheese for dinner, oh. pub, and then pub, cheese for lunch, pub for dinner. Uh, but now we're going to do pub for lunch and, I don't know, figure out dinner later. Um, but when you're there, you can watch the cows being milked, which is super cool. Um, so this dairy is the first... Oh, do it while I'm talking to you. While I'm getting in the truck. It's the first dairy to have a... Was the first dairy to have an automatic... Um, Robot. Robotic um, milking. milking system. And the cows are wear a collar and it's that talks to the computer and they come through the gate they're only allowed in once every six hours so they their computer gets to the gate they go yes you can come in to feed so the gate opens or no get back out you're not allowed um, and then once they do that they literally go through this complete automatic robotic system where lasers are used to connect to the udders and then they come out then and they, they come out, out and get a <laughs> back scratch or a scratching post that's autom like starts when they get there it's censored um, feed everything. It's amazing to watch. We just stood there for like, I don't know, 15 minutes and watched cows being milked in this automatic process of them going in and out and feeding they just themselves. themselves. They just, down. yeah. 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day, they just bring themselves down and if it's been like four hours since they've six been milked, hours. six hours, they can go in and get it milked. If not, it turns them away. We watched one get turned away. Yeah. It hasn't been long enough. Yeah. We saw two get turned away. Uh. Anyway, we're off to the pub in the paddock now. That's the cow run. Ah, yeah, I could go off and have to do a lap. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, off to the pub in the paddock for lunch. dusted out basically by their fertilizing truck speeding around the place so we ran to the tr truck afterwards and left overall meh and there was three people but there was they, they thought there was one but it was actually two more so yes they do have a pig that you can apparently buy a beer and feed it to that but um, we just didn't get that vibe of like $9 for a beer for the pig yeah so it's like $9 for a beer for the pig, so and we just didn't really get that welcoming vibe, so we didn't really want to spend the extra money, unfortunately. So um, yeah, so yeah, if you want to do it, do it. If you don't, don't, in my opinion. Go to the dairy, I'll just go to the dairy. I get lunch at the dairy, I reckon. Yeah, and hopefully, they have cheese you can buy. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So, anyway, we are off on the next little adventure down the road, St. Columba Falls. Oh, yeah. St. Columba Falls. Not sure I uh, think that they put much effort into their car parking. <laughs>
Tell me, what's going on? Uh, ran out of space on the card, thought I deleted everything from yesterday and the last couple of days. Looks like I didn't. <laughs> that camera battery is starting to run out, 30% left. <laughs> Sun's coming in and out and I really need no sun in the images, otherwise it blows out all the greens and ferns and stuff. So all up, you're quite stressful. Yeah, you're in photography heaven because it's yeah. so beautiful, but it's stressful. Yeah. Because there's lots of things happening <laughs> or building up. <laughs> So impressive. I think it has to be on your must-do in Tassie list. They are wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, so the track is pretty much flat, um, but downhill, 600 meters long, long downhill, but kind of like almost a paved track with a bridge and stuff. Um, yeah, pretty doable. Up, the up walk is a little bit puffy. Day is the Paris, Mount Paris Dam Wall. Uh, Daniel and I both had this on our to-do list, so that's always good. <laughs> um, and it's awesome. It's so cool to see. It's so like you just don't get to see a dam wall like this up close. Um, and the fact that there's ferns and water flowing through and stuff—it's just—it's actually really magic. It's magic. Bit of a rough, windy, dirt, little dodgy road to get here, but. Pay enough, but I like it. I'm happy. Corner 
honestly. Can't get better than that. Love it. Bedroom window, bathroom window, kitchen window, door. Stunning view. Love it. Love it. Uh, but we are leaving today because got to keep moving on. Um, heading further south. Not sure where we'll get to. Um, but yeah. Hi. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, absolutely recommend this camp in this area. It is so so beautiful. We did three nights Definitely needed more just on a time frame. So um, if we've got time at the end, we might come back. Um, we'll see